in this video, we're going to create an easy magazine title without doing any work out of our computer. So we're going to do this all digital. So here's my clip here, and this is from Gunna's new music video. So I am going to create the words Gunna in the title. So I'm going to go to Internet Explorer and just search up old magazines. You could search up anything, newspapers, stuff like that. And what you're going to want to do is find your letters. So in here, you could see there's an N and we're going to need that to spell Gunna. So I'm going to click save image as and then save it to a folder. I'm going to save it to a folder called magazines. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to do all of the letters until I could spell gonna. Okay, so now that I've found all of my magazines, what I'm going to do is just import them into my timeline. So now that I have these inside my folder, what I'm going to do is start creating the words. So the first letter I'm going to do is G. And so I'm going to get my magazine with the G in it. I'm going to find the G and then I'm going to go to opacity and click on the pen tool and I'm going to create a rough mask out of the G. And so this doesn't have to be perfect, but once you kind of create the mask, you want to make sure that your feather is zero. So I'm going to do this for all the rest of the letters and I will get to you when I finish that. Okay, so now that I have created all of the cutouts for the word gonna, what I'm gonna do now is kind of reposition them into the size that I want. So I can do this by messing around with the scale and the positioning of these things, and then I could also mess around with the rotation as well. So don't worry about placing this like in the middle of the screen yet. We'll do that later, but right now just kind of position the letters how you want. So I kind of want something like this. And so what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to animate this. So I'm going to start at the beginning of all of our letters and I'm going to move three frames to the right. So one, two, three, and then I'm going to have that U place. So the G is here and then the U is going to show up after three frames. And then after three more frames, then the N is going to show up and then the other N and then the A. So it's going to look like kind of an animation like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to nest this and I nest this because now I want to reposition it to the kind of size that I want. So I kind of want it to be like something like this and that looks good. But there's one thing that's kind of throwing me off and that's all of these different colors here. And so when you're selecting your magazines, you can keep that in mind, but you're always not going to find the best letters and colors all to match up. So what you can do is just manually kind of change these. So I'm just going to decrease the saturation since all of this is black. And then I will just kind of mess around with the contrast here just a bit to kind of have that old kind of newspaper style. So I'll take down the contrast a bit and then just mess around with some of it. And so I kind of like this. And so there you go. Here is your magazine title done by only digital and just finding magazines online. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out some of my other videos. If you haven't, there's lots of free value in them. And so I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.